Hello guys, today we are going to review Pizza Face. Uh, I think he is most underrated character in game and I do believe he is, if not the strongest, he is one of the top 3 strongest character right now in game. And I am going to tell you why he is that strong. Well, first of all, uh, his passive skill. This skill. You can read it here. This one. Uh, Pizza Face relies on his weak weak goodness to keep extra cheesy. At the start of the turn, 35% chance to heal allies by 20% of max HP. So he heals the whole team. He has 35% chance to heal the whole team by the 20% of max health. So this skill alone makes him extremely good. But with that skill he also has two amazing area attack skills. By area attack skills, I mean the skill which will damage all the opponents, all your foes. Uh, the first one is this one. Uh, <clears throat> Danger Call Zone. Also guys, uh, you do know that English is not my first language. So I am going to butcher English a bit in my video. So please uh, let it give me some leeway and uh, hopefully I am speaking well enough for you to understand me so yeah this is a skill this is the first area attack skill uh, danger call zone pizza face whips a call zone bomb at his foes raise attack power by 85% so this skill actually doesn't have much attack power increase just 85% but again uh, it is an area attack skill uh, so yeah it's really good and the second area attack skill is this one oh these skills are really toughly named how do I pronounce it uh, Pizombi yeah Pizombi uh, so I have this you know, tier 6 uh, which is max so the skill says that pizza face tosses a zombie fine pizza at 4 75% chance for attack power to be lowered by 50% for 3 turns so this skill uh, decreases the attack power of your opponents which is really good actually I think this one is the uh, area attack skill. This one is single attack. Well, we'll find out in the battle. So this one such as pizza, pizza face buff or hot melted cheese onto all fours. Seventy percent chance to cause damage over time for two turns. So yeah, this one is the second area attack skill. Uh, it has seventy percent chance to cause damage over time. So the skill number two. Is area attack skill and the skill number six so uh, skill number five so you'll need to have him at five star to get both these skills and I already talked about his amazing passive skill so these are the three skills that make him extremely good maybe these are the best skills in game yeah I think so uh, I mean combined uh, like the vision quest Leonardo has one of the best skill the uh, armor skill uh, cartoon Raphael and splinter has counter attack skill but these guys don't have much other skills to help out I mean vision quest maybe have the best uh, second best or the uh, you could say he vision quest Leonardo and pizza face both have a great uh, set of skills I mean not only one but they have couple of good skills like 
this one has three good skills uh, vision quest leonardo i think he has two area attack skills and one armor skill so yeah he has also good set of skills but these are the only few characters very few characters which has good sets of skills not just one but couple of good skills so yeah and the final skill is basic skill pizza pays swings a pepperoni Link set of four like nunchuck spicy oh, what the hell 35 percent chance for accuracy be, accuracy to be lowered by 50 percent for one turn so this skill uh, doesn't look that useful but accuracy lowered okay uh, this is a red skill anyway so these are his stats health 7500 uh, I like characters with uh, 8000 is hell but this is also good uh, speed also slightly slow well 1500 accuracy 1500 gauge 1500 attack power is decent actually in the high side of the attack powers uh, 2000 and the physical defense energy defense all these are the state doesn't really factor much but well you can compare your characters uh you can take a screenshot of this video and compare with my other videos character review video see these stats compare these stats see which character suits your gameplay style and this is how they will look at level 80. so he has class bonus against might disadvantage against swift his trait is inflector class is cunning so that's that let's try him in a battle and let's let's do chapter 6 or should we do chapter 7 should we should he should be good in chapter 7 hope he doesn't embarrasses me <laughs> uh, so let's do Chapter 7 and stage 9. Hopefully, that doesn't have the uh, get this. Hopefully, he can take them on solo. Where is Pizza Face? There he is. Let's turn on the sound. Okay, guys, so hopefully, he doesn't embarrass me and can win this level solo and you will be able to see his maxed out skill at max level and five star so let's go So you saw the passive skill made him heal before his turn uh, and also this uh, level looks very strong for some reason I'm getting hit very hard and you saw the speed problem he doesn't have much speed so he's his turn is taking a lot longer and also he was stunned for a turn so that let's use the damage over time skill so even if they don't die from the first burst of damage, they die over time. See, we healed again. And if he had a full team, he would have healed everybody. Or at least a couple of them. Every start of every turn, he would have healed few peoples of our team.
are healing every turn almost. Uh, but I have used both my area attack skill and after killing him we will be fighting the last wave with a shitty skill. Uh, wish there was a way to skip turn so I can cool down these both skills. This one needs two, level, uh, two rounds to cool down, this one needs five. So let's hope the we can survive two rounds. So we are disadvantage against Karai because she is swift class. Uh, let's kill these guys first because I think these drones has the heal ability. So let's get rid of them first and our area attack skill needs only one turn. So next turn we will be able to use that. Good thing we are healing because we are taking a lot of damage. So yeah, hopefully these this skill takes out at least few of them. Alright Karai, good fight but you need to go away now. Let's win this. So guys, that, that was his skills and you saw how much he healed every turn. We were uh, slightly lucky in that fight, he actually healed more than 35% chances but still, uh, that skill is insanely good, especially it heals all allies, not just himself. So yeah, if you are going into tough battles really tough battles he is your guy you must take him and if you have him at five star well you need him to be at four star to get the heal skill and you need him to be at five star to get this uh, second area attack skill so uh, i think he is easily one of the top three characters although uh, I need to check few other characters out. I think, but I think Pizza Face and Vision Quest Leonardo uh, at the moment, and how much I know about this game, are two of the strongest characters with the best skill sets. Uh, Shredder is also extremely strong because he has a heal skill. He has an area attack skill, uh, but there are a few uh, things I don't like about him. I will do the Shredder review video, uh, I am hoping I will be able to do it soon. Uh, and also guys one more thing, uh, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because a lot of people are getting automatically unsubscribed for some reason. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel uh, and the there is this ring type, uh, bell type icon uh, near the subscribe button under my video. 
make sure to click it so you get the notifications when I upload new video uh, I should have put th this message on the start of my video but uh, I think I forgot about it and I'm too lazy to edit this video now so yeah just make sure to subscribe make sure to click on the bell icon to get the notifications and please keep watching my videos share them with your friend that play ninja turtle legends and i am thinking about playing other games so let me know which games you want me to play and thank you again have a good day